Okay. I'm here. What did you want? We're not expecting any of your goons to come through that door, are we? No, we are alone, Mr. Thorne. Just you and I. Look, for what it's worth, I regret what happened to your wife. It was an accident. Her death was the last thing I wanted. I just wanted to shake her up a little. Send you a message. Send me a message. Send me a message. You ripped out my fucking heart! Look, I didn't know the car was going to go up like that. Running her off the road was just meant to be a, a warning. Look, I didn't start this, you know. It was you that tried to muscle in on my assets, if you remember. <laughs> you know, Mr. Thorne, Einstein once said that there are two things that are infinite. The universe and human stupidity. And he wasn't very sure about the former. Did you really think I would just roll over? and let you get away with killing my dealers. Let you get away with trying to muscle in on my turf. Are you really that stupid? I'm not a man to trifle with, Thorn. You know, about 10 years ago, some wannabe yardy tried to muscle in on my turf. Him and his gang tried to push my street girls off their patches, pimp out their own whores on my turf. To begin with, it was just a intimidation, threats, that kind of thing. Eventually became physical. It came to my attention when one of my girls was found bleeding to death in the gutter with a throat slit. Poor girl. Maureen. Not bad looking. So I couldn't let him get away with that, could I, Mr. Thorne? I hunted him down, but all I had to go on was his name, his physical description, and his manner, what London borough he operated in. So, I kidnapped, tortured, and killed every nigger between the ages of 20 and 30 in Tower Hamlets called Jones, until the right one confessed to me. Took me nine attempts to find the right one. Bravo! But I haven't brought you here to talk about the past, Mr. Thorne. It's our future that interests me. I have a an idea of a way to get out of our predicament. I want to offer you a deal. It's too late for deals! Look, I know you're hurting, but be smart for God's sake. I don't know that there is a way back from this. Not after you killed my Mary. Maybe, maybe I just don't give a shit anymore. You won't win. You do know that. Eventually, I will crush all your rackets, liquidate all your scams, wipe out all your whores, loan sharks and dealers. You do know that, don't you? <laughs> then why? Why offer me a deal? Because this war isn't good for either of us. It's costing me dearly. Far too public. 
Too much attention. Then why not just fucking kill me? The same reason that you can't just casually kill me. Are you sure about that? Go on, Thorn. Pull the trigger. I dare you. Just say goodbye to Rachel before I go. Oh. You didn't know I knew about her, did you, Mr. Thorn? You know, as we speak, two of my men are waiting to uh, talk to her. They will follow her round to the end of the earth until they receive an order from me not to do so. You know what I mean? Expensive public school she's going to there, Mr. Thorne. But out of your league, I would have said, how is the poor girl dealing with the death of her mother? a single parent now. Oh, sit down, Mr. Thorne, and put the gun down before you hurt yourself. Curly's, I would say, Mr. Thorne. This deal. You resign your position and get out of London for good. I take over your enterprises and your position. For this, I pay you one million pounds. You've achieved great things, Mr. Thor. Especially getting to your exalted position at such a young age. But now it's time to step aside. 
The alternative is... Well, you know what the alternative is, don't you? But I want your decision now! Okay... You... Bastard! now, get the ball rolling, hi Gina, it's me, listen, can you put me through to Carl in the press room? Oh, hold. Carl, it's Commissioner John Thorne here. I'd like you to set up a press conference for tomorrow morning. And I'd like to put out a formal message over the wire today, announcing that due to the unforeseen and tragic death of my wife, I am resigning my position with the Metropolitan Police. Effective immediately. And I'd like to recommend Chief Constable David Grant as my replacement.